Hey guys, I am back. I am so excited. <laughs> it's been so many months since I finally got down to record a game. Anyways guys, hello this is Jamie Scavin and welcome to my next Let's Play. You guys have been way five months ever since that stupid hiatus has been going on. But thankfully I am free and... <laughs> have enough space to record and now I'm going down to play Super Mario Galaxy. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I don't know how excited I am to record! And wow, that's actually really pretty. <laughs> I didn't even realize, you know, it changes the background, you know, when you stay on the screen for a while, but I am super excited to finally record. I might feel a little bit rusty in my commentary, but I'm sure it's gonna be alright. <laughs> But anyways, Super Mario Galaxy. Uh, I really haven't touched this game as much. I only got this game like several years ago when um, Majora's Mask 3D came out because it's only like $20 for this game on Nintendo Select. So yeah, <laughs> I only picked this game once, so this is going to feel a little bit semi-blind for me, so just bear with me on that. But anyways, let's get started. And that is actually a pretty background. I like this background a lot. But yeah, anyways, I already made a file. This is sort of like my practice file I did. <laughs> Not my original file that I played, you know, um, well, uh, in my Wii. Because, yes, I am playing this on my Wii U because my Wii, honestly, the Wii is kind of dying on me at this point. <laughs> so, I don't want to risk up the game saying, oh, I can't read the disc or whatever, so I'm just going to play on my Wii U. But which doesn't matter. Anyways, we're gonna make another file. Um, yes, we'll create a file on this planet. Alrighty. Man, it feels so weird playing a game. And I really don't have any Miis in my Wii U, so I'm just gonna pick a random planet. Let's pick Yoshi. Let's pick Yoshi, because I love Yoshi. Yoshi's so adorable. Alrighty. And there we go. There is uh, Yoshi's head. So yeah. <laughs> but anyways, let's get started. Every 100 years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet looked so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became a great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every 100 years to celebrate the comet. Dear Mario, I've been waiting for you at the castle on the night of the Star Festival. There's something I'd like to give you from Peach. Now with that we get a letter from Peach that she says that she'll be waiting for us at the Star Festival. So, let's go see Princess Peach. Now, <laughs> like I said, I, this game is so, still semi-blind, so just bear with me on that. But anyways, yeah, we're pretty much right in the game. So anyways, uh, we could talk to the Toads, but they'll say all the guests are here. Uh, can I talk to you? Mario, you're the last guest to arrive. Glad well, you can make it. Well, gee, Mario is actually kind of late for the Star Festival, since he is the last one that came. Well, we could talk to these Toads, but they'll just say random things as we roll by. But yeah. Um, I would say this is not my favorite 3D Mario game, but it's still pretty neat. Also, this is a really nice view. And also, if you see these little star things in the ground, these are called Star Viz. Um, I would say collect as many as you can, because you're going to need a lot of them later on. Um, but yeah, so these are called Star Viz, and funny enough, Star Viz are actually based on Japanese rock candy. Um, they're actually really good. Star, uh, not Star Viz. <laughs> The, um, rock candy is actually really good. So, yeah. But anyways, uh, pretty much, you know, we can roll around. We can also do a long jump like, the, you know, in Super Mario 64. And we can also do backwards. We can do a little crouch. And that's pretty much it. You know the basics. You can do triple jumps. And, yeah, that's it. It's just the basics of 3D Mario platforming. Anyways, let's continue on with the Star Festival. But, unfortunately, we are being attacked. And jeez. 
So this seems that we got some flying fortress, some or battleship or god, I don't even know what the name of these fortresses are. The air fleet, I guess that's what you call. Also, this game was like back in 2007, 2008, so this has been a decade. Like holy crap! Like it doesn't feel like it was that long ago that this game came out, but a decade ago, holy crap! And I will say, the cousins are really amazing, even though there's not much in this game, but they're actually really freaking amazing. But anyways, we see Princess Peach holding a strange star-shaped creature. We'll learn about that creature later. Anyways, we kind of figured who would be responsible for the attacks on the Mushroom Kingdom, yet again. <laughs> and lo and behold, there is Bowser. Princess Peach, you are formally invited to the creation of my new galaxy. <laughs> this festival is so over! You know, I'm seriously getting a really big Mario Deja Vu from this. Not just this part, uh, the next few seconds something looks very familiar, well, actually after this little segment here. But yeah, as you can see, you know, Mushroom Kingdom is under attack by Bowser, and unfortunately, <clears throat> unfortunately we can't free these toes, so we'll have to simply let them rot and die, unfortunately. I mean, but it's morbid as it is, but yeah, we can't really do anything with them. Anyways, we need to go to Princess Peach and, well, obviously, do the Mario thing, help the princess. Alright, as we draw close into the entrance of the castle, we get another cutscene. Now this part seemed really familiar to the very first Paper Mario game. I'm not sure if it was intentional or not, but I feel like it was some sort of reference to the very first Paper Mario game. Because you literally have like, well okay, they never had like you have full in the first Paper Mario game, but Look what happens to Peach's castle. If you guys play the very first Paper Mario game, this should look rather familiar. I gotta still say this cutscene is just really outstanding. Like, even 10 years ago, it's still looks outstanding today. But yes, they have these chains, and guess what they're gonna do with Peach's castle? Again, they're gonna lift it off the ground. Seems really familiar to Paper Mario 1. Like, look at that! They're lifting it again! <laughs> like, I don't know if that was intentional or not, but I feel like that's a reference, a huge reference to Paper Mario. Like, <laughs> that actually surprised me my first time. Like, wait a second, they're, they're doing a Paper Mario reference. But yes, they're gonna take Peach's castle all the way into space. Yeah, yeah, like what Peach said, that's Mario. <laughs> well, luckily Mario's still here, but unfortunately a magic Koopa came by. So long! Enjoy your flight! Unfortunately, magic Koopa blasts us out of space. And there goes Peach and her castle. But we did see something fly off. Meanwhile, Mario is sleeping on top of flowers. Ooh. We get a little Ooh. cute little creature! Which we don't know what the name of yet. <laughs> but it seems that we're on a stranded planet. Hello! And you're a, apparently a bunny. Emily, you're awake! Let's play! Yeah, because we are doing a let's play, we're doing Super Mario Galaxy. Alright, so apparently this little buddy star thing, it wants us to play with it. Alright, so let's follow this thing and it leads us to more of these star bunnies. Let's play hide and seek! If you catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are. Alright, so if we catch all these bunnies, they'll tell us where we're at. And I uh, guess what's also going on. Alright, so there are some starbits. I do want to collect some of them while we're catching these little rabbits. Oh, wow, I lost my grip. <laughs> uh, come here, bunny! Oh, jeez. 
It's gonna be feel really weird. I will say though, this, this is not my favorite 3D Mario game. My favorite is still Sunshine, only because I really don't like the movements in this game. I feel like my movements are very slow. So, yeah. Oh, I knew I should have hidden the crater. So yeah, these little creatures will give you hints on where the other these creatures are. And yes, I'm doing my best trying not to spoil what the name of these things are. Alright, so unfortunately it's not that crater. Um, actually, let's check the pipe. Maybe we can find something in the pipe, perhaps? Oh, and apparently there's one. I mean, uh, it told us to look for the crater, but there's also one in the pipe. So I guess we'll find that one. Oops. I'll try and do something that we can't even do yet. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, let's grab you. I suck really bad with this. Alright, come on. Come on, you little boy. Come on. Get over here. You caught me! You can say the crater. Yep, the crater. <laughs> Alright, let's find that crater and see what's going on here. I don't remember. Let me get that little star of it. I want those. Give me those. Uh, did I check this crater? Uh, yes, I did. I didn't check the other one. I see that one with the coin. Alright, let's grab this one and see where it will lead to. And there it is! Alrighty. Come here, little, little rabbit! Come here! Come here! I said come here. Come here. There we go. I can't believe it! I let myself get caught! Wow, you caught all of us? Maybe you really help, can help Mama. Mama? Oh, boy. <laughs> this character. Oh! I did like this character at first before they made this character a little too overrated and too much of an attention person. Yeah, they gave too much attention to this character. Let's meet everyone's space waifu. And yes, I will not let that go because it's literally everyone's space waifu. I've been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you'll need the power to travel through space. <laughs> Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with this care. So these things are called Luma, which, you know, pretty name, they are cute. Anyways, with the power of the Luma, we have the ability to spin. All we have to do is shake the Wima. Disaster has struck us, just as it has visited you. With Luma, I hope you can res rescue the Scram Stars. May the stars shine down on you. So yep, there was Space Waifu, Rosalina. Thankfully she's not as annoying in this game. I mean, this is her first debut in a Mario series game. But pretty much the rest of the game that is included, like party games or racing games, is kind of annoying. Okay, so this one is telling us to shake the Wemo to, you know, um, break these crystals. Alright, and with that, uh, we have a launch star. So when we go near a launch star, all you gotta do is just shake and it will launch us to, well, various places. But anyways, let's get launched. Alright, so we got a little, I guess, quote unquote, like our tutorial stage or galaxy. Hi there, good to see you. That's the bad news though. See, I had a launch star already for you, but immediately smashed it up. You can't leave without us, so find all the star chip to fix it. Oh, and be sure not to fall in the black hole. Oh boy. <laughs> Funny memories of that. Um, my first time playing this game, I actually died on this part. I accidentally fell into the black hole, which black holes are bad news. And we get one up, that increases our light counter. But yeah, it's my first time playing Super Mario Galaxy. I actually died on this planet. So that was wow, that was actually really close. Really embarrassing. So yes, I did die on this planet and yeah, it was terrible. I mean not only that you can't really blame me because uh, it's my first time playing and honestly the controls kinda of feel a little bit slippery, so I wasn't so used to the controls of this game. But still it's just kinda of funny that I died on the very first planet that you come into. Well this one in particular I died on because of a controls. Alright, so anyway, let's hit this. That will stun the Goombas, which we've seen Goombas before. They're practically, you know, um, 
standard enemies. Alright, so anyway, let's kill this Goomba. Alright, and we gotta find a key, so, to get the Goomba out of here. Alright, so we can kill this Goomba. And yes, we do get coins. Um, c coins will actually heal you if you do take damage, which I, don't, I haven't taken any damage right now. There are certain ways to um, kill enemies. Like, if you kill them a certain way, you can get either Starvis or Coin. It just depends how you kill them. But anyways, we free this little Luma, and I believe this Luma will give us a little lift. Yeah, it will give us a Sling Star. And yeah, these little guys, they do transform into Sling Stars. Alright, so yeah. Anyways, uh, let's continue. We got another Luma that's trapped. I believe we need to find the key. If not... Okay, yeah, these things just stun Goombas, so... You need a key, right? Well, I don't know. <laughs> uh, do you have anything to say? If you could take damage? Yeah, so... This is sort of like a tutorial level, so... Yeah. Oh, Starbits! Awesome! Well, I guess those Goombas, I guess they give you... Oh my god, Starbits. Also, another big factor in this game, yeah, uh, gravity. There, <laughs> the controls are kind of weird with the gravity thing, but hopefully not too much of a problem. Anyways, kind of figured that that big Goomba has a key, so anyway, take out the key and we free this little Luma. Alright, so I think after this planet we'll probably call it a video. I mean, it's just intro level, but hey, at least we gave him to the action right away. Hurry! Down here! Alright, so let's go down here, and let's see what's going on. Alrighty! We've been waiting for you! That's a grand star! We had to save it! They're using the grand star to power that awful machine! It looks like it's making... something. We have to do something before the grand star's power is drained! Quick, find a way to stop that terrible machine! Alright, so the Lilith wants to save the Grand Star, which is all those big gold stars that we can see throughout this place. Oh, shoot! <laughs> My bad. I was trying not to touch that, I was just trying to touch the little thing. Alright, did I hit all switches? Yes, I did. Alright, so let's continue on with this. Turn off the plus switches on the floor to shut down this machine. Alright. Now uh, we got Goomba, I gotta ignore you. And I missed that switch. Alright. And that's it! And with that, we free the Grand Star. Not just a 80 power star, but a Grand Star. And apparently, these are a little bit different from power stars. But first, let's kill Goomba just to get more star bits, because we need a lot of it later on. Anyways, we got our first Grand Star, one of many. Alright! So with that we got our Grand Star, and we're teleported to a strange area. Hello, it is awfully dark here, so... Can we light it up just a little bit? You know, get some actual light in this place? That'd be nice. <laughs> some life. There we go, there's some light. Alright, and that opens up something over there. Anyway, we got a star! Grand Star Rescue Gateway Galaxy. Alright, so we freeze our star account and we discover a new galaxy, which we'll see that in the next episode. But for now, we have another cutscene with Rosalina. The beacon is lit again. It shines weakly, maybe only as bright as a class 6 star, but at least the poor Lumas will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the Grand Star. These star people are my family. They mean so much to me. <laughs> Welcome to the, com the Comet Observatory. It's my home, and also home to the Lumas. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every 100 years, but we suddenly stop in front of this planet. A strange force has a latch on on our ship, pulling away star bits and our power source, power stars. Our ship had lost, con had lost power, 
So it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars and discovered the power to craft the universe. Please. Please. I have a request. This observatory uses star power to reject images of the galaxy that are scattered across space. And there's a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for other power stars. Yeah. These round rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. But the only one that is working now, powered by the star power you restored, is this one, the terrace. Please go to the terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxy you can see from there. Yeah. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the common observatory's ability to fly like a starship. Then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with the power stars. And with that, I'm going to call it an episode. So, we're here in the Comet Observatory where Rosalina and the Lumas live. But, it seems there's not really running up much power right now. But, in the next episode, we're going to go to a new galaxy in our very first dome, which is the Terrace. So next time, we'll be doing just that. And also, thank you guys so much for your patience on waiting for my... <laughs> Waiting for me to let's play a game. I know it's been a long time and I'm just glad to be back and I really thank you guys for your patience. But I am back and I can't wait to do more with you guys. Anyways, I'll see you guys then. So, this is Chibi Skevin saying bye!